Google Suite vs Zoho Mail. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am comparing Google Suite with Zoho Mail to figure out which one of these platforms is better for you to build your online business and to help you get more productive and organized. So let's get started. Now the link for Zoho and Google Suite, how to access Google Suite will be given in the description down below. You can go ahead and create your free account with Zoho and access your Google Suite right now. So let's get started with the video. Uh, first, we have Zoho.com. Now, we will be discussing Zoho Mail and we will compare it to Google Suite and we'll figure out that what are the different services and features both of these platforms offer. So what you have to do is simply come to Zoho.com and sign up for free. The sign up process is very easy. You can sign up with your Google account and the link for your Zoho is given in the description down below. You can check out Zoho.com right now. So once you sign up for Zoho, you will land right here. This is the platform. You get a lot of different features. You get CRM, you get mail, you get uh, finance, IT management. And in Zoho, you will find different tools. For example, your CRM. RM, you will be able to find mail, you will be able to find marketing, HR, whatever you are looking for. You can, you know, access these different tools and create your own suit, your own hub to manage your business better. So I will show you how you, you can actually access to your Zoho mail. So what happens is you simply come to your Zoho. Now the access your app option is where you will be able to find different apps that you have already accessed, you know, for example, your invoices, maybe your mail or desk, whatever you have but you can actually go to the search option and you can search for mail and you will be driven to uh, zoho mail and you will find this tool right here which is secure business email so i will simply click on this one like this is one of the apps this is one of the tool powered by zoho and i can access it so you can see right here this is zoho.com slash mail this is how you access it there is no other platform it's a tool available in zoho so don't think that zoho mail is something you know different than zoho.com it's a tool uh, we find in zoho and it allows us to create our own custom you know uh, business email and we can actually do a lot with that of course so what happens is now this is actually a difference that we will be comparing because google suite allows us to have our own business email that is what we will be you know focusing focusing on and i will actually show you how that happens similarly Zoho Mail will also help you get your own business email. So this is actually pretty amazing and it's an ad-free email service. So it's good, right? So what you have to do is how to access your Zoho Mail. So what you do is simply click on access Zoho Mail. You will see the option right here. Now we have two options. Welcome to Zoho Mail. So create domain based email and then create an email account. You can actually go for a domain based email account uh, an email address or you can simply go for a username with a mail.com so let's go with a domain based one because what happens is that domain based email will actually help you uh, with your business and we will have our own business domain based email that is actually pretty amazing so to get this you actually have to you know kind of like go for a plan here what happens is the domain based name uh, for domain based email what you have to do is you will have to go for a mail light which is one dollar and then mail premium four dollar standard three dollar professional six dollars so this is the pricing for your domain based email if you want to get with zoho mail but this is how you will actually you know come to this point and once you do that you will simply buy it once you buy it you will be able to access uh to you know different features of email if i go back and show you if you went without the domain one let's go to zoho mail again and create an email without the domain name so what happens is now you don't have to pay the plan for the domain one you had to choose a plan but for a simple email account with the username at zohomail.com you don't have to you know uh, go for a plan so you simply enter for example i can go with my name okay and i will simply click on create a mail box once i do that uh what is going to happen is uh, that they will simply you know create my own mailbox for me on my zoho so once i add my name and i click on create mailbox they will actually create my own mailbox for my zoho mail so this is how you get an email address with your zoho mail so really quickly now let me show you what are the different features you are going to get once you have your zoho mail what you can actually do with that 
again what happens is it is totally encrypted this is actually pretty good you don't have to worry about the security then you will be able to get an extensive uh, automated plan where you can actually you know go ahead and manage your email better then we are also getting a mobile app for our zoho mail where you can access your email anytime you want to with your zoho mail app so this is pretty amazing and if you are creating your zoho mail then it will become very easy for you and again if you want to go for a domain one then it's pretty cheap prices uh, so you can create a domain name based um, email as well so this is like a kind of a view how you get your uh, mail uh, with your zoho you will get your inbox you have different notes and task option and you will be able to you know have your own amazing uh you know email right here with your own mail hub with zoho.com right here so this is how you access your zoho mail and you can you know go ahead and create your email right now with zoho the link is given in the description down below get your free trial get your free account create your account with zoho go to zoho.com slash mail and create your email right now and start growing your business so yeah the link is given in the description again you can you know go ahead and start your free trial now let's go to google suite google suite also known as workspace.google.com now so if you want to access your workspace.google.com you simply you know go to your google um your simple google that you have right for this one you just need your google account the link for your google workspace is given in the description to access your google workspace because if you have a google account then you don't need to create a new account for your uh, google workspace because it is powered by google right so what you have to do is you will simply um you know go to your google workspace and it will open up so to get started what you have to do is simply click on get started Started and it will take you to the workspace what you have to do is let's get started business name uh let's go with any business name then you can add the number of employees so for now let's just say it's just you and then you have to select your region of course simply click on next so what you have to do is add your first name last name and your current email address that you have simple gmail you will add that now does your business have a domain again uh, this is where google is going to give us a domain business email right so if you do not have a domain you will simply say no i need one or if you already have a domain you just need a business email you will go for yes i have one so i am going with no i need one and now they're asking me to search for the domain name that are available so let's just say that i am going with my own name now if i go for dot com let's search if it is available and i will simply you know go for a search there you go so once you add your domain you will be able to check out the pricing right here so my name and dot net is not available dot uh you know com is not available but the ones that are available of course will be given right here for example dot org dot xyz dot online dot club dot store dot site and these are the different you know pricing that you are going to get so getting a domain name we saw that on zoho mail if you're going for a domain name the pricing plan was actually a little cheaper with zoho mail uh, but with google because of course it is going to be powered by google.com that is why the pricing is actually a little higher when it comes to you know these names and especially the names that are actually you know famous and the names that we want for example dot online or maybe dot site dot store they're very expensive like 50 dollars per year but this is like per year so not that expensive if you're looking for you know um a good business if you're looking for the investment if you want a good google email then you will have to you know pay for that so once you have added that you simply you know get your gmail name and you can actually get your own business email with your google uh, suite your google workspace uh, and it was known as google suite now it is known as google workspace but of course um it is the hub where you will be able to actually get a lot of other cool features as well so again it is not just about the email when it comes to google workspace and zoho as well when we talked about zoho i told you that this is like soho.com slash mail because there are 
a lot of other features and again with our google workspace as well we get a lot of other features for example our google meet we get drive we get calendars and we get mail as well so this is also a very you know uh, a suite that you are going to get to get more managed and to be more productive with your business online and it does not require any you know uh, going to any other platform it is powered by google you don't need anything you all you need is just your google account so yeah you can you know sign up for your um google account right now the link will be given in the description uh, so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i wanted to show you that how zoho mail and google suite work and how you can actually access your business email with these platforms the link for zoho and google workspace will be given in the description down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel